Beckett Keys Church of England School exam candidate information for students taking their GCSEs in 2017. First of all, let us introduce your exams officer. This is Miss Dent. She works in main reception and is available in school every day. We'd like to give you some advice about preparing for your exams. You'll be provided with your own timetable in your exam pack and you need to check that you've been entered for the correct exams. If you have any exams missing from your exam timetable or one that you should not be entered for, please speak to Miss Dent immediately and this can be reviewed. Alternatively, please email exams at beckettkeys.org. Your individual timetable will also show the time and date of each of your exams, which you room you'll be taking your exam in, and also where you will be seated. Exam attendance. You'll be required to be in school at 8.25 for morning exams and 12.55 for afternoon exams. Morning exams will begin at 9am and afternoon exams will begin at 1.30. There will be an exam briefing before each exam at 8.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. These are compulsory and will be extremely useful. In case of any traffic incidents or other reasons for lateness, please contact the school office immediately on 01277 28 66 00. Students will be expected to come in school uniform, in full uniform as normal. Students can remove their blazer and or their sweater during exams, but you mustn't disturb candidates around you. Obviously there's specific equipment you need for each exam. Please check what you need. Remember, see through pencil cases only. Use only black ballpoint pens. Simple black biros are best. The only drink allowed in the exam room is water, and this must be in a clear plastic bottle with any labels removed. Mobile phones and other communication devices are not allowed in the exam room under any circumstances. There is no right of appeal in a mobile phone or communication device malpractice decision. This is really important. There's other equipment not allowed in the exam room, things like correction fluid, erasable pens, gel pens, blotting paper, notes, calculator cases, instructions, leaflets, boat bags, coats and food. Highlighter pens may be taken into the exam but must not be used in your answers. They can be used to highlight questions, words or phrases within the question paper or question and answer booklet. You may also use a highlighter pen to highlight, highlight extracts in any resource material provided. We've found that students using highlighters get higher marks. You're not allowed any henna tattoos or any writing on your hands. There will be some spare stationary equipment kept in the exam room, but this is only for emergencies, so please come prepared to avoid any disruption during the exam. Where calculators are allowed in an exam, this will be made clear to you in the description of the exam, i.e. it will be a calculator or non-calculator paper. It will also be made clear on the front of the exam paper and it will be clear on your timetable. Just um, make sure you're really clear on what paper it is you're sitting. Do not, under any circumstances, take a calculator into uh, a non-calculator paper. As we said, you need to arrive early for your exams. 8.25 for morning exams, 12.55 for afternoon exams. There's a compulsory exam briefing and registration. We need to make sure that everyone is there and ready to start. You need to line up in silence and uh, go into the exam room in the right frame of mind. Remember other exams may be in progress so please be mindful of this as you arrive. You must obey all the exam notices on the walls, procedures and everything inside the exam room. The exams are overseen by invigilators and they have strict rules and regulations to follow. They will be external people, um, there will be very few from within the school and you must follow their instructions carefully. Arriving for your exam. You must store your bag in a locker or on the dedicated bag racks when you arrive in school before the pre-exam briefing. 
in the unlikely event of a late arrival, we will try and help you. You can call the school on 12 to let us know that you're running late. Senior staff will be aware that you're missing and will be waiting for you at the gate. If we can, we'll get you into the exam. However, if you're more than 15 minutes late, we cannot help you. We'll stay with you and we'll make the best arrangements that we can. Many students are worried about arriving late and our best advice is to come early. Don't leave it to the last minute. Remember, the school is open from 7am every day. Breakfast is served early every day. Be early, get in, have breakfast with us. Don't risk cutting it fine. Once you're in the exam room, as with our mocks, when our students behaved absolutely impeccably, perfectly, absolute silence is required. You will be under exam conditions from the moment you enter the room until you are given permission to leave by the invigilator. You must listen and follow the instructions of the invigilator at all times in the exam room. Often find it actually helps you to relax, to follow the instructions and feel uh, secure in what the invigilator is doing. You mustn't communicate with other candidates and the exam room will display all the information that you need. The centre number, the subject title, the paper number and the start and finish times of the exam. You must sit at your designated exam desk where you'll find your name label and candidate number. You should already know where you're sitting in the exam room as this information has been provided for you with your timetable. If you cannot find your desk, please raise your hand and the invigilator will assist you. As I've said, be very attentive to the instructions. This is your last chance to sort out any issues before the exam starts. Check that the correct exam paper is on your desk. When instructed to do so by the invigilator, read the instructions carefully and complete the information as requested. Remember, you're responsible for producing legible handwriting in your exams. If you need to get the invigilator's attention for any reason, please raise your hand and wait for them to come to you. Do not get up from your desk unless given permission to do so. The invigilators can only help with questions about the instructions on the front of the paper. They can't read any words printed inside the paper. Remember what your teacher has told you and reminded you about in the pre-exam briefing. If there's an emergency during the exam, please follow the invigilators' instructions. The invigilators have all been trained to spot cheating and if this is found to be occurring during an exam it will lead to instant disqualification from the exam and other sanctions. Leaving the exam room. Don't leave the exam room until told to do so. Do leave in an absolute silence. Remember other exams could be going on. Be mindful of this as you leave. So after the exams You'll get your exam results on the 24th of August 2017. You may arrive at the main hall at Beckett Keys on this date at any time from 10am to 1pm. If you know in advance that you will not be available to collect your results on this day, you can nominate another person to come and collect your results for you. You must tell the exams officer that you're going to do this. Identification will be required from the third party, the person coming to collect them for you, and then we'll be able to give them your results. Any results not collected on the 24th of August 2017 will be kept by the exams officer and stored securely within the school. Miss Dent is the exams officer and she will keep them in the safe. If you've not made prior arrangement for a third party to pick these up for you, please speak to Miss Dent or email exams at beckettkeys.org to arrange for a late collection of your results. Sixth form support. On the results day, our staff will be on hand to help with pleasant surprises and disappointments on the day and the following day. Full details of the sixth form entry process are on the sixth form part of our website and will also be in your enrolment pack if you are successful in being offered a place at Beckett Keys for sixth form. After the results, if you have any queries about your results that need to be raised with the exam board, please speak to the exams officer on results day or as soon as possible. Following your inquiry, if you request a paper to be remarked or recalled for any reason, please speak to the exams officer. 
This is chargeable by the exam boards and payment may be requested before the request is made to the exam board. Strict deadlines are set by exam boards for any inquiry, inquiries, so please start this process as soon as possible if required. Certificates will be issued at an awards evening to take place in December. Details of this will be confirmed to you nearer the time. If you're not able to attend this ceremony, certificates will be stored securely by the exams officer. If you'd like these to be sent to you by recorded delivery, please speak to the exams officer or email exams at beckettkeys.org. Postage costs will be requested via Scopay in advance of these being sent. You may also nominate a third party co to collect your certificates for you. This must be advised to the exams officer and identification will be required from that person to collect your certificates for you. Any certificates that remain unclaimed will be kept in storage by the school for 12 months. A few exam tips. Keep an eye on the exams notice board next to the medical room. You will find important exams notices on here and also tips for dealing with exams. Start your revision earlier rather than later. The best students are doing one or two hours per night and at the weekends and probably even more. Teachers will assist with revision ideas. Talk to them. Look at our Twitter feed where there's revision tips almost every day. Doing exam questions and papers is usually the best way to revise. Get parents, siblings and relatives to test you on key facts that you need to memorise. Memorise, memorise, memorise. Make sure you know the key facts off by heart. Revise a topic, then apply it to some test questions. Mark the test questions and then revise the weak areas again. Return to it again another time. GCSE pod is being used successfully for revision by most students. Our school has watched almost double the average amount of GCSE pods. This is excellent and that's helping with our students' revision. Other online tools can help, but remember, neither GCSE pod or online tools are a substitute for exam question practice. Other exam tips, know your exam timetable, get to the venue on time. 8.25 for morning exams, 12.55 for afternoon exams. Have all your equipment ready and prepared the day before. Get plenty of sleep, eat healthily, especially during the weeks of the actual exams. You're going to get tired unless you're getting sleep and eating well. If you're struggling to cope with revision, or if you're stressed or anxious, speak to Miss Dent, teachers or other members of staff. In your exam pack, there's details of support that we're offering to students, uh, counselling uh, and prayer support. Let's finish with some prayers. Jesus, keep reminding me of the bigger picture over the next few weeks. Keep me in your hands when all other hands disappear. For I am convinced that neither entry requirements nor exam results, neither anticipation nor doubts, neither success nor failure, nor any expectations, neither last minute fears nor anxieties, nor anything else in life will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Please don't let me forget it. Dear Lord, I want to do my best to fulfill the potential you've given me. Help me to stay calm, to keep things in perspective, and be content with the best I can do on the day. To look out for my friends who need a bit of encouragement and to always remember that the real test is how closely I can follow in your way. Amen. Finally, everyone at Becky Keys would like to wish you well for your exams. Why not read this Psalm 121 to bring some final encouragement as you prepare for your exams. Best wishes, everyone.